Okay. We've got here x is a continuous random variable such that f of x is x over 2 between 0 and 1 and 2 over 3 minus x over 6 between 1 and 4 and 0 otherwise. Sketch f of x. Find e of x the mean. Find of e of x squared and then we're going to use that to find the variance of x. We're going to find the community distribution function of f of x from this. And then we're going to sketch y is equal to f of x, and also we're going to use that to find the median. So quite a lot of things. It's quite a long video. I'm sorry about that. Okay, sketching the probability density function f of x. Notice we've got small f of x as a probability density function, and capital F of x is known as the community distribution function. So draw a set of axes. Important point is uh, 1. And... Uh, 1, we know it's going to go to a half, and we know these are linear lines, they're going to be straight lines, so it's just x over 2. Just draw a straight line, it's only a sketch. And then we know that it was at uh, 1, with 2 thirds minus 1 sixth will be equal to a half, and also if we put in 4 here, 2 thirds minus 2 thirds is going to end up at 0. So we just need to draw that line in there. Okay, if we go to uh, this GeoGebra app, um, which I've done for you, this will be the link to this will be in the notes of the video. We could then use it if we wanted to to find probabilities like between 1.25 and 3, for example, the area of that would give us the probability. So I've made that GeoGebra app look to go with this video if, if you are interested in finding probabilities from the probability density function. Okay, now to find the mean. To find the mean, there's our uh, probability density function. To find the mean, e of x is the integral of all of x of x times f of x. If you think how you find the uh, mean from a frequency distribution, that will make sense. x times x times f of x. So we need to integrate from 0 to 1 of x times our function from the integral from 1 to 4 of x times our second bit. So expanding the expanding, we get the integral from 0 to 1 of x squared over 2 dx, plus the integral from 1 to 4 of 2x over 3, minus x squared over 6 dx. Then integrating, we're going to get x cubed over 6, for 2 times 3 to get to 6, from 0 to 1 plus the integral from 4, that's going to be 2x squared over 6, which will come down to x squared over 3, minus x cubed over 3 times 6, which is 18, from 1 to 4. Substituting in the uh, limits carefully, we get 1 cubed over 6, minus 0 cubed over 6. Don't always assume if you put 0 in, you're going to get 0. Plus 4 squared over 3, minus 4 cubed over 18, minus 1 third, now putting 1 in, 1 third, 1 squared over 3, and then minus minus means plus 1 cubed over 8. So be careful that it's a plus there. So that's be 1 sixth, we're going to ignore that one. 16 over 3, 4 cubed over 18 comes down to 32 over 9, one, minus 1 third plus 1 eighteenth, Using the fraction button on our calculator, we can get that to be 5 thirds. It's better to have an um, exact answer because we're going to need to use it later. Or round it off to uh, 3 centimetre figures, 1.67 to 3 centimetre figures. So those would be better to use later. Right, now to find e of x squared. It's a similar sort of thing. e of x squared is now x squared times f of x dx for all of x integrating. So we we'll now do x squared times our first part from the integral between 1 and 0 and 1 and the integral between 1 and 4 x squared times 2 thirds minus x over 6 dx. Expanding, we're going to get integral of x cubed over 2 dx plus the integral from 1 to 4 of 2x squared minus x cubed over 6 dx. Integrating, we're going to get x to the 4, 4 times 2 which is 8 from 0 to 1 plus 2 
uh, x cubed, and the, uh, 3 times 3 is 9, so it's 2x cubed over 9, minus x to the 4 times 4 times 6, which is 24 from 1 to 4. Substituting in the limit, we get 1 to the 4 over 8, minus 0 to the 4 over 8, plus 2 times 4 cubed over 9, minus 4 to the 4 over 24, minus 2 times 1 cubed over 9, plus, make sure you do the plus, 1 to the 4 over 24, that gives me 1 eighth, we're going to ignore that one, 2 times 4 cubed over 9 gives me 128 over 9, plus uh, 4 to the 4 over 24 cancels down to 32 over 3, minus 2 ninths plus 1 over 24, and then on my calculator that gives me 7 over 2, or 3.5. Right, having done that, the next part is quite easy. The variance of x is e of x squared minus the mean squared, where the mean is e of x. So this is the answer of part b. This is the answer of part c. So we need 7 over 2 minus 5 thirds squared. That's 7 over 2 minus 25 over 9, which gives me 13 over 8, or 0 0.7222, or 0 0.7222 to three cinnamon figures. Right. Right, what we're going to do now is calculate the distribution, a community distribution function. So let f of x, capital F of x, be the community distribution function. Now what you do is you integrate uh, from you have to split it up in different parts, so from 0 to 1. So you integrate the function, because remember we're summing up all the areas as we go along, this is what we're doing, and we introduce a dummy variable. So we go from 0 to t, the some dummy variable of x over 2 dx. We integrate that, x squared over 4 from 0 to t. Put in the limits, we get t squared over 4 minus 0 squared over 4. And that just gives me t squared over 4. At this point, I check f of, uh, f of 1, the end of the, of, the, of the domain of this particular part, and I get 1 squared over 4, which is 1 quarter. So I've summed up the area, the area from, from 0 to 1. The, uh, when we get to 1, then the area will be 1 quarter. We've used 1 quarter of the area up. Right. So beginning the next part, we start off with one quarter. What have we got from the last part? And we put the last value in. And then we add to it and the integral from 1 to t of the second bit, which is 2 thirds minus x over 6 dx. This is the area between 1 and 4. That's one quarter. Now integrating at 2x over 3 minus x squared over 18 from t to 1. Putting in the limits. So it's 2 thirds of t minus t squared over 12 minus 2 times 1 over 3 plus 1 squared over 12. So the first two bits were 2, 2t, 2t over 3 minus t squared over 12 and then summing these bits up we get minus 1 third. Now what we do is we check f of 4 because we want to make sure when we got to the f 4 that we got to 1 which is the total of all the probabilities. 2 times 4 over 3, 4 squared over 12, minus 1 third, gives me 8 over 3, minus 4 over 3, minus 1 over 3, so it's 8 over 3 minus 5 over 3, which gives me 3 over 3, which is 1, as required. Okay, so now we, we've, instead of using t, we write it in terms of x, so f of x is x squared over 4 between 0 and 1. This is the community distribution function we're writing out here. 2x over 3 minus x squared over 12 minus 1 first. We're replacing the t's with x one over, between 1 and 4. Then after that, it's always going to be 1. Right, now we're asked to sketch this function. So we'll draw a set of axes important point is that one we know it's a quarter and this is x squared so it's going to curve up this way between one and four so that four is going to go to one 
right? And this is minus x squared, so it's going to curve that way. So you get like an O guide, like you get when you do commutative frequency. Then after that, it's always going to be 1, so it's going to be a straight line. Y is equal to 1. Okay. And I've done this other applet. Again, I'll put it in the notes of the video. If I take away the whole of it, you can see the different sections there of the commutative distribution function. Okay. If you want, you can even see them being made up. That's the first bit, second bit, last bit, and that's the whole thing. Okay, that applet again is in the notes of this video. There'll be two links in this video. Okay, so there's this screenshot of that. Last part is we need to find the median. The median M is where the community distribution, F of the community, the community distribution, when you put M into it, will be equal to 0.5. We're trying to find where the area is exactly divided in half. So we need to just find where this is equal to a half. Now, we know at the end of here, this is a quarter. So we know we need to use this domain, we need to put this one m, instead of x, m in here and put this equal to a half. So f of m is equal to a half, so we've got 2m over 3 minus m squared over 12 minus 1 third is equal to a half, and we now need to solve that. This is a quadratic, so it's putting, making the m's positive, m squared positive, so it's m squared over 12, minus 2m over 3, and then when you add a third to a half, you get 5 over 6, it's now equal to 0. Multiplying through by 12, you're going to get m squared, uh, 12, 12, 2 times 12 divided by 3, which is 8m, 5 times 12 divided by 6, which is 10, is equal to 0. Unfortunately, it doesn't factorise, so we have to use the quadratic formula. So it's minus minus b, so minus b, minus b, which is minus, minus 8, b is minus 8, plus or minus um, square root of b squared minus 8 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 10, divided by 2 times 1. So you're going to get 8, 64 minus 40 over 2, 8 plus or minus 24 over 2. Now you could Simplify this third and get 8. It's 4 times 6. Square root of 4 is 2. So we get 8 plus or minus 2 root 6 over 2. And the 2 will go into that and you get that m is equal to 4 plus or minus root 6. So when we work these out, we get that m is 1.55. That's okay. Or 6.449. Well, that's no good because that's outside of that domain where we said it was going to be. So therefore we reject this one and say that the median is equal to 1.55 to 3 centimeter figures. Or well, the exact answer is 4 minus root 6. Okay, quite a long video, sorry about that. So the GeoGebra applets are in the notes. So this has been a video to show you how to find the uh, mean, the community distribution function, the variance, and the median using the community distribution function. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.